Hello, welcome back. Here I am in my new room, sitting on the floor. So, my bed is right here on the ground with nothing. I am washing the sheets and stuff like that. But, happy beautiful day. It's been a great day, we've moved a lot. And I just wanted to kind of do a story time. So my life has been going freaking one thing after the other, it's felt like. And the last thing that just happened to me is I got in a wreck. So I just kinda wanna share what happened and everything's working out in a great way and I feel like if I can make this video and also give glory to God in all the way that the things happen, then here it is. So let's get into it. I'm gonna tell you about my wreck situation and how that has all gone down and how it's in. Okay, so first things first, I want to say is I think that I am a great driver. Like every single time that I drive, I'm super cautious. I'm not one to really be looking at my phone like, yeah, I'm guilty. I'll change the song. But uh, yeah, I think I'm a good driver. I pay attention. I don't drive that fast. I couldn't even drive fast in my car. So I used to drive a 2006 Scion TC. So you can see where this story goes already by me saying I used to drive. I am currently now carless but also not really so that's where i'm like i have to be thankful for because i can share my mom's car so we are on two different schedules i go to work in the morning she goes work in the afternoon so we just swap it on the cars and i just got put onto in her insurance so let's take it back take it back so story time so i wake up in the morning and i'm actually real chipper this morning i remember like i'm just like yay i love this day we were doing a pd day which is a day where like everyone comes together and just does professional development so that's what was going on so i was headed over there it was misty i wouldn't say that it was raining but it was like misty enough to where like it was kind of raining that i had to use my windshield wipers and it was very overcasty but it was good so i remember i put on a song so in the mornings i like to listen i like to listen <laughs> in the mornings i like to listen to worship music so i put on it is so elevation worship i'm going to tell y'all every single detail because that's the importance of a story time right so i put it on and i remember they Thinking like, mm, I like this song, you know what I mean? I remember starting to just like sing it a little bit, like, it is so, like singing my song. And I was like holding both hands on the wheels. And I just remember the feeling of like sliding. So it felt like my back tires went out. So my back tires turned. And I just remember being like, oh, you know what I mean? Like a little shook up. And I felt what I thought and what I still think is that I might have gained a little bit control again, but then it just went hard. So I felt like I was going over a curve. And what was happening was this was a total hydroplane accident. So I believe that my car hit the perfect pile or however it works of water. I don't know if my tires, my tires were good. I got all new tires. It's in one of my freaking vlogs when I went to Galveston and I got new tires and that was, I shouldn't have had to blame anything for the reasoning. I just hydroplaned. I think it's like, you know, it's easy as humans to be like, that's the reason why or that's that. But it, it, was, it was literally the truest of accident. So it starts pulling from behind me and I'm like, feeling that and I just remember thinking in my head like to keep singing the song so I just remember kind of thinking in my head you know like oh, we just lost a little control so I'm singing like it is so and then I realized like I did not have control I was going about 60 you know and I realized that I had no control and I just remember thinking in my head like it's gonna be okay you know like I why knuckled the things I knew that I wasn't supposed to pull away from a hydroplane, but I also was like, I'm just supposed to go with it. Like, what does that mean? I'm just supposed to allow myself to get in a wreck. I didn't want to do that. So I start hydroplaning. I literally face the freaking wall. You know what? Let me use a little diagram. Okay. So this is how I can describe this the best way. This is um, the medium wall. I was in the second lane. So this is Scion Carry. <laughs> this is me, this remote. <laughs> this is the medium wall. So here I am and I'm coming in. Like I said, I felt like my back tires just came out. And the reason why I kind of had that moment where I was like, oh, bleep, was because I was facing like this. I remember facing this. I was in the middle lane. So I remember facing this and I just went boom. I hit right in the front, bumped off my bumper and then I oh the parents are back hold on I gotta yell at them that I'm making a YouTube video 
I'm making a YouTube video. I'll be out there in a second. They can't hear me. My mom's about to bust in. Get ready. Man? Yes? I said I'm making a YouTube video, so I'll come out in a minute. Jesse! Hi! Hi, girl. Hi, Jesse. Hi, Jesse. This little Jesse girl. So I face the wall. Okay. Focus back. So we go zero. I face the wall and I hit it first. My bumper flies off. Guys, and I literally did like a full half spin 180 and I hit the back. And from the way I landed and the way like I saw how far my bumper was, it felt like I did one more spin and then I skid across the median because the whole back of my bumper was like on my passenger door. So like if I opened the passenger door, that's where my bumper was and the tail end of it was hanging off the side. So I have a few pictures so I can show you. I'll probably put like the front here, a picture, and then the back here so that you can see how the front bumper got knocked off and the back. So the end of the story is that I was facing oncoming traffic. So the way that I ended was the way cars were coming. <laughs> so I was freaked out. I was scared. I, I don't think I've ever like shook so bad. I've been in wrecks before, but this one just literally made me shake. I was so like, Cause it wasn't my fault. I had no clue. You know what I mean? Like, could I have avoided that? I don't know. But I had your plane and I spun out and I ended up coming the other way. I hit the front and I hit the back and it felt like bumper cars, but scary. <laughs> like I knew it was gonna happen again. I knew I was gonna hit again and I just was holding on. So um, I called my parents. I called 911 myself. They showed up. They had to block a little bit of the road because my bumper <laughs> was some far ways away. So they called a record, they towed my car, and I called Jason and my mom. So my stepdad Bruce and my mom came out to, I guess, the crash site and Jason, and we followed the tow guy to find out that it was totaled. And I only had liability, meaning that my insurance only covered what would happen to a vehicle, not to mine. I cannot pay to fix all that. <laughs> so I signed my car over. And so now this is where I'm saying like to glory to be to God because I was about to be paying $300 for my insurance because the way I played it was every six months. And we moved into the new apartment, as you can see in my last video. I wasn't gonna be able to pay rent and my $300 of insurance. With the insurance being out of the way, I'm able to pay this first month's rent. It works out that me and my mom are on total opposite schedules, so I'm just gonna jump on her insurance, which is full coverage. So praise God again for that. I, we conveniently found an apartment that is five minutes away from Jason. I have no injuries. That's what's crazy. So yes, my beautiful blue baby got totaled, but that's gonna be my story time. Please be safe out there on the roads, essentially. I don't know, it's gonna be rainy one day. So when it's rainy, go slow. Make sure you're aware of where you're at. Cause I also called 911 and they were like, where are you at? And I was like, Ugh. I passed this sign. Like, I didn't really know where I was at. I didn't know how to describe I was on 377 to whatever 81. I don't know, all of them. But yeah, so be sure to know where you're at, be safe, and love you guys. See you on my next video. Thanks for watching and thanks for safety and thanks for God for letting everything work out. Love y'all. Bye.